Now, broadcaster and journalist Peter Hitchens has called for England to leave the United Kingdom. Right in the Daily Mail, he called for the restoration of England as a way of preempting Scottish and Welsh demands for independence. In the article, Hitchens said he has long found the words English and England secretly thrilling and urged readers to look around Europe and see the happiest nations are the small, compact ones who focus on their own business and contentment. We're now joined in the studio by Chairman of the English Democrats, Robin Tilbrook. Robin, I take it you have got lots of sympathy for what Peter Hitchens said, but uh, uh, do the English Democrats want an, an English Parliament within the United Kingdom or do they want England to completely separate from Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland? Well, we did originally campaign for uh, an English Parliament within a federal UK. <clears throat> but what we found was that uh, basically the British political establishment and... Um, uh, all, all the uh, people who were involved with that seem to want to break England up into regions. And these regions are completely bogus. They, they have no history to them. Um, and um, uh, the main reason why they haven't managed to uh, get their act together on that so far is because they can't agree where the boundaries should be. Um, but, of course, what that means is there is actually an ongoing threat to the unity of England. Um, and that's why we moved about ten years ago uh, to a position where we, we're campaigning for English independence, much as uh, Peter Hitchens was, Hitchens was talking about. And in I, fact, I, I, I was in correspondence with him about ten years ago, and at that point he was sort of all for the defence of uh, the UK, uh, but he's now moved, and I think this is a slow burn issue. Once you start to think about it, you tend to, you tend to move over to uh, English independence, I think. Now, I said in Parliament years and years ago that I thought England would get tired of the United Kingdom before mm. Scotland ever did. Do you, do you think if there was a referendum on this in England, England would vote to leave the United Kingdom? Or is, is, is that not quite... Have we not got to that point yet? Well, we don't get very much coverage of the issue. Uh, so it's difficult to say what would happen if people actually were starting to think about it. Um, I saw an opinion poll a couple of years ago which suggested over 40% already were saying that they were in favour of English independence. Um, and um, so I, I think, bearing in mind that the SNP started off with 25% when they, when they launched their campaign for Scottish independence, we, we'd, have, we'd have a good chance. And once people started to think about how much the union is actually costing England with the Barnet formula and all the rest of it, um, we, you know, we're literally giving something in the, in the order of, well, the last time it was actually worked out was 33 billion was going to Scotland. Um, and uh, the Barnet formula generally was costing £49 billion a year, but that's more than a decade ago. It's a good chance it's up to about £60 billion a year, the Barnet formula. That is a huge amount of money that's going out of England. But surely you just need to explain that and rein in the spend, not break us all up. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a unionist here, so I think you're quite right. You have to explain, look at what we're giving to you, and actually we can't afford to do that now. There are parts of northern England, southern England, eastern England that need that money or, or what have you. But I'd sooner us all stay together. Is it not an old argument on people in Scotland now saying we don't want to leave you as much as... We, they're thinking of an indie ref, but less people are interested in this. Don't you think more people now want to clump together? Well, the key argument that was being used used in the Scottish referendum was the union dividend, by which they meant the immense subsidy they were getting every year from England. Um, and the fact is, what, what do we in England get out of that? I, I just don't see that we do actually get very much out of it. I, I tend to say we get the bill and the blame. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Tilbrook, Chairman of the English Democrats, thank you very much for joining us. We'd like to hear from our viewers about, about this, whether or not they think England should leave the United Kingdom or, or not, or whether, like Esty, you feel we should all stick together. Yeah. Um, I mean, very interesting you know, yeah, maybe think. sort out where the money's going and shed it, uh, share it evenly between all of us, but let's break, break us up.